it seems to me that the breaking off of the giant iceberg is consistent with warming, but it is not the total story here. Uh, it's the sexy headline, but not the real story. The real story is much scarier. Uh, the question is, what overall is happening to the ice masses of Greenland and Antarctica? So give us a bottom line. Is the Greenland ice mass increasing or decreasing in mass on a net basis? Uh, Dr. Binchala. Well, the answer to the question is that both the Greenland ice sheet and the Antarctic ice sheet are losing mass on an increasing basis. And one of the figures in one of the slides um, I chose specifically because it, it makes that point uh, most clearly. It's from a satellite called GRACE whose function is to monitor mass around, around the Earth. So as it flies over an ice sheet, basically what it does is weigh that ice sheet. And so it started in 2003, so we have seven years of record, and we can see winter accumulation uh, as the ice sheet grows, increases in mass, and summer <coughs> loss of mass. And so year after year, we see that, that seasonal fluctuation. But superimposed on all that is not only a decreasing trend in mass, but a decreasing trend that is, is losing mass faster and faster and faster. So those are hard data, and there's just no disputing that that, that is going on. So that's, that's, I think, the best view of the big picture. Okay, thank you. Dr. Alley. Yes, uh, and to build on what Dr. Ben Chadler said, we have tried very hard to understand the reasons why we see the ice mass happening. It lost. We do see loss. Greenland is getting more snow in the middle, so it's thickening a little in the middle, but the extra loss on the edges beats that. So Greenland is losing mass at an accelerating rate, and that appears to be because it is melting more on top from warmer air, and it is dumping more icebergs into the ocean from warmer water as well as from the warmer air. Uh, in Antarctica, it appears that warmer water has been very important in causing the changes. So our understanding is that the warmth is what causes it. Uh, we could have a long discussion of exactly why the warmth has happened in Antarctica, but the warmth in Greenland, at least, is fairly clearly because the climate around it is getting warmer. So we're seeing ice loss from a warming world. 